The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem, and they thought the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said, a nobleman went off to a distant country to obtain the kingship for himself and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins and told them, engage in trade with these until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, We do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, he had the servants called to whom he had given the money to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in this very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned five more. And to this servant, too, he said, You take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept it stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, because you are a demanding man, and take up what you did not lay down and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down, and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by he said, Take the gold coin from him, and give it to the servant who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten gold coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has more, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now as for those enemies of mine who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. And so today, we as church, we celebrate St. Elizabeth of Hungary. And I think that these uh, readings are really absolutely fitting as we celebrate Elizabeth of Hungary today. The readings are a little longer than usual. I don't know if you picked up on that, but if you're looking at them in the lectionary, it takes up literally four pages. And so, but there is so much in these readings today. So just a little bit brief background story. Elizabeth of Hungary was uh, married at the age of 13 to the prince. And one of the things that was interesting about Elizabeth is that despite her worldly riches, she was so extremely generous with that in which God had given to her. She was so generous. In fact, she turned one of her castles into a hospital. And she herself would go visit the poor two times a day, in the morning and in the evening. She would go visit the poor. She would go visit the sick. There's a story of Elizabeth uh, bringing bread to the poor, and her husband stops her. Her husband, who actually supported her in her ministry, supported her in making sure that she took care of the sick and gave food to the hungry. And her husband stops her and asks, what do you have under your cloak? And she had bread underneath her cloak, but when she lifted it, it was roses. And so it's a great example of the great gift of what we have also been called to do, to go forth and to share what we have. At the end of her life, Elizabeth actually renounced all her earthly possessions. She gave it all up, and she became a Franciscan uh, in the lay sense. And so one of the things that I'd encourage today is if we look at the gospel, which comes to us from the gospel of Luke, we hear this parable of this rich man who is going away to be proclaimed as king. And what's he doing? He's leaving with his servants each a coin. But what do they do with that coin? Are they generous with it? Do they have a generous spirit? Or do they just kind of hold it and keep it to themselves? 
it's very much a similar reading with regard to what we're used to hearing with the talents. How do we use what God has given us to give him glory? Do we just stay and stay and keep hold close those things that we have been given by God? Or do we go forth and do we share them with others? You know, right now as a nation, we're preparing for what great holiday? This isn't a Father Mike rhetorical question. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, right? And so, you know, one of the great things about us as Catholics, every Mass we come to, we give thanks to God. That Greek word of Thanksgiving, the Eucharist means Thanksgiving. Eucharistia, Thanksgiving, to give thanks. So do we give thanks to God for that to which he has given to us? What gold coins do we have in our lives that we are called to go forth and share. Maybe it's teaching. Maybe it's being an example to others. Maybe it's going and doing some, some ministry in the jail. Whatever that may look like, what are we called to? I think it's important that, especially as we prepare as a nation for Thanksgiving, that we ask those questions. Because when we get to our heavenly reward, God's going to ask us, how were we with regard to our generosity? It's not just about money. It's so much more than that. It's so much more than that. And so, brothers and sisters, as we prepare to receive our Lord Jesus Christ in the Eucharist this morning, we pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for allowing us to be here. We give you thanks for the great gift of your generosity. Lord, you have given us so much, but we know, Lord, that those who have much has been given to, much is also expected. And so, Lord, we ask in a special way this morning that you help us to be generous. Lord, help us to be generous with those things that you have given to us, our time, our talent, even our treasure, Lord. Help us to truly be a good steward of those things, and so that we can use those things to build up the kingdom of God. Lord, we ask all of this in your most holy name. Amen.